Hello and welcome to episode number 36 of Girl Streamers. Girl Streamers is a podcast bringing you the girl streamers that you know and love. Girl Streamers is a community that supports and promotes girls that stream. We are a bi-weekly podcast and we'll be introducing you to some amazing girl gamers and allow you the viewer to get to know some of your favorite streamers. My name is Nymphadora and I will be your host during this interview. Tonight we will be interviewing Geeky Gimp and if there is time at the end we will take questions from the audience in the channel. This is a live podcast but we will also be available for download on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and YouTube. What's up Geeky Gimp aka Aaron? Hey. Hi. How are you? How's your week been? My week has been good. As my uh, my parents are away on vacation, so I got the house kind of to myself. Nice. But not really because my brother is here and my boyfriend is here. So, <laughs> yeah. So uh, right. But if your brother is as cool as my brother, you pretty much got the house to yourself. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Are you guys ready for Thanksgiving? Uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the first time I won't be spending it at home. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm going to my boyfriend's family Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Oh, that sounds yeah. kind of serious. Yeah, well, yeah. That's Pretty awesome. Serious. Yeah. I only met his dad. Everyone else, I never met, so. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, I'm scared. But... I hope it goes well. Thanks. I hope it goes well for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, we are, I am ready. My parents have been um, redoing their house. That has, it's uh -huh. been needed an uplift. It's been needing an, uh, a facelift. I can't mm -hmm. talk. Uh, for a very long time. So, um, my mom's been yeah. sending me pictures of what the house looks like. And I'm like, ah, oh, I'm mm -hmm. so excited to see it. Uh, so, yeah. plus, awesome. you know, my parent, my mom cooks like the best Thanksgiving food. So I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> my mom is really good at this. So. Well, then you can have leftovers when you come back if the boyfriend's mom can't cook. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, my family, can you hear them? They're very loud. Uh, a little family. bit, yeah, but it's not too bad. <laughs> okay, good. Um, that might happen sometimes. <laughs> okay. uh, I have dogs you might hear occasionally, so you're good. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, alright, how did you come up with your screen name? Um, okay, so, it's kind of obvious, maybe, because I'm a geek. And I'm disabled, so I use GIMP, like, in that reference. So, that's me, Geeky GIMP. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, because you kinda, you're kind of, like, taking back the word, because yeah. it's, GIMP can, you know, it's kind of a negative term. Yeah. And, and... it's weird, because, yeah, because um, it's not a term that many people use so i was just like i'll use it because no one else is and it kind of i like it now and i like it a lot so well there you go i love it that's that's awesome yeah so uh where do you hail from are you one of our canadian girl streamers no i <laughs> wish no um right <laughs> i'm in new jersey no way but... really yeah. I have quite a few friends up there. That's awesome. Really? Yes. Oh, yeah. I live by um, New York City. Okay. Yeah. That's super cool. We are looking yeah. to go to New York next summer, so nice. we have to hook up. Yeah. Meet up a fellow girl streamer. Definitely, yeah. That'd be dope. I go, I go to the city a lot, so. We've got a friend of ours is, um his partner is doing a a 
special birthday party for him, a surprise birthday party for his birthday. Mm -hmm. He'll be 50 next year. My husband and I are 18 years difference. So Mm -hmm. all his friends are a bit older than me. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, So he's turning 50 next year. And Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go up. Our plans are to go up see them because they're in upstate New York and then since Mm -hmm. I've never been to New York City come back down and do a few days in New York City nice to actually see the city and then fly home yeah so nice yeah make a nice little vacation out of it yeah so I love New York City it's nice I've never been so you'll have to help me out when I come up stay away from Times Square okay just don't, don't even <laughs> Don't bother. even try, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what is the first game that you ever played that got you into the gaming world? I was trying to think of the answer to that, but I've been playing games since the Atari. Oh my god. So that god. was like in the 80s. So, I don't know the first game. Something on the Atari. I don't know. Wait, so you're an 80s baby like me? Yeah, I was born 83. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. 80s hype. I was yeah, born in 85, hype. so that's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. I'm old. We're old, yay. That's okay. We're not old. Not We're old, the old. perfect age right now. Yeah. We are in our prime. I'm actually older than my boyfriend by, like, a month and a half. And people always think that he's my dad. I'm what? like, no, no, not my dad. <laughs> that would be strange. Um, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean... At least your your boyfriend's not 18 years older and people think he's your dad. Yeah. I mean, my husband, he doesn't look like he's 50, but he's 50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel so bad. <laughs> Thank God he's not in here right now. <laughs> He'd be like, oh. <laughs> so how long have you been streaming? Um... Last year I started. Oh, I think. okay. Yeah. So- I had no idea what I was doing. So, like, my first streams was just the game. I had no microphone, no camera. It was just me streaming a game. And then <laughs> I figured out, oh, you have to, like, interact <laughs> with people. I had no idea. So I was the same way actually. <laughs> You're not yeah. alone in that. <laughs> <laughs> so what got you into streaming then? Um, I I think I found like another disabled gamer and he was streaming. So I checked out his link and I was like, Oh, I I can do that. Too. <laughs> and uh how it always yeah, starts. Just jumped in. That's yeah. how it always starts. So you just jumped in feet first, huh? Yep. That's you know, sometimes that's the best way to start. Just go for it. Don't think about it. Just just do it. Yeah. And then it turns out to be something pretty neat. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. so so far, what is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you on stream? Nothing too bad. Um, just like my family in the background yelling at each other. Or like, <laughs> who knows? Like, just doing strange things in the background. I don't know. That You're lucky then. You're lucky. Because I've vomited on stream before. Did you really? Yeah. So That's not fun. No, it's not. Especially when it's <laughs> alcohol-induced vomit. No. <laughs> um, I don't condone doing alcohol, doing shots on stream. I'm just gonna no. put that out there. Bad right idea. Now. I have not done shots on stream since then. Thank you, Dead Mannequin and Carice. 
<clears throat> it was their fault. I blame it all on them. <laughs> um, I, I'm too scared. I'm way too scared to drink on stream because that will happen to me. Well, I got so drunk that the husband mm -hmm. had to come in and shut off everything. Aww. That's how drunk I was. He's like, all right, honey, let's put you to bed. And so when yeah. I go back and watch the VOD, I'm like, uh, I just cringe. I cringe <laughs> so hard. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Do you still have the video? I'm sure it's still up there. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna go look for it now, are you? <laughs> I might, I might. Um, I don't remember. God, that was back in the summer sometime, so it may have fallen yeah. off by now. But Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you're really prepared to... Yeah. You know. By the way, I'm sorry. My hair is, like, doing this weird sticking up in the background thing today. It's amazing. It's, it's kind of annoying. I keep, I just keep seeing like this, whatever. We're going to like yeah. lean over so you guys don't see that. There we go. It hides it now. <laughs> Actually, I just realized I don't have certain lights on. Give me a second. Sorry. I realized my face looked like super pale. Now it looks worse. Oh well, whatever. We're here to see you anyway. <laughs> it's uh, fine. Oh my god, now I'm rolling all over my pants. No. <laughs> uh, all right. So, what is your most memorable moment since streaming? Um, so far. Uh, my um my niece, she's 6 years old. 6 She's going to turn seven very soon. And she started streaming with me. And she loves to be on camera. And she just thinks it's like so awesome. And she's so cute that I just, I love doing it with her. It's a lot of fun. Oh my God, that is so, ah, okay. I haven't caught those streams. Um. I watch your streams, but you don't know I watch your streams. I haven't caught I any know. of those. That is so cute. I love it. Yeah. She's very cute. Aww. And now every time, every time um, my brother picks her up and takes her to the house, and as soon as she gets in, she's like, hey, can we stream? I was like, <laughs> I just streamed like 10 minutes ago, but okay. Oh, that is so yeah. great. That is yeah. so great. Yeah. Uh, I have a nephew. He will be a one next month. So Aww. here's hoping he'll be that adorable. Yeah. That That's is cute. so cute. Yeah. So what is your favorite game? Well, okay. This is a loaded question. What is okay. your favorite game right now that you've been playing? Uh, um, well, I mostly play overwatch that's like my game right now love overwatch <laughs> and um that's it really <laughs> a lot of overwatch i am a huge overwatch fan although i took a massive break because i just got tired of the super saltiness because i yeah. went like super hardcore like i got really competitive with it and it mm -hmm. kind of burned me out um, cause mm -hmm. I, I main Lucio. So when you main healers is really hard to pull up through competitive ranks. Yeah. My, my highest was gold, but then I went down to silver so fast. Yeah. Uh, just cause I couldn't get a good team. And so yeah. I was like, I'm done with the game. And so I took about a six month hiatus and then I played Friday with my brother <laughs> And yeah. I was like, oh, God, I've missed this game. Yeah. So I will be playing Overwatch again in the very near future because it's good. a good game. Yeah. I, um, I named Diva, and I also play Mercy and Reaper 
and that's it really i yeah, have plays. such garbage at reaper yeah. i don't know how people play that character yeah he's uh he's hard to get used to um but it's fun i like it what um have you played moira yet the new character i did and i don't really care for it too much really oh my god yeah. i was wrecking face with her friday i am in love yeah. with that character that's the kind of but that's also the kind of gameplay i like i guess it just it the way i play it works so well with my with my yeah. stuff so i love her kit she is i like her uh but then i can't do reaper so there you go yeah so i also didn't realize they added rockets to diva yes that that is the best change ever because i play diva very aggressively yeah. so the rockets just make it better i well, think i've always thought that she was more of an aggressive tank anyway like she's not really a <laughs> She's not like Reinhardt. You don't stand back and defend everybody. You know, she's, yeah. she's like uh, Winston. She goes in there and gets shit done, which is yeah. why I like her. Um, yeah. I think she does a better job at it than Winston, personally. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, Winston. the Rockets is so... Yeah. It took me a while to get used to clicking it, but they're mm -hmm. very helpful. They are very helpful. <laughs> And Diva and Diva and Diva and Winston are really good together. So yeah, so they're just like they are. Dying. Yeah, they are. Yes. So, do you have a favorite game of all times? Then my favorite game of all time. I'm gonna have to say Overwatch again really? because I mean I play. Tomb Raider a lot, like the original mm -hmm. Tomb Raider, and then all the way up to the recent Tomb Raiders. Um, I like the Nancy Nancy Drew series. It's like a adventure game. Okay. Yeah. So that's those are my favorites. So. That's pretty cool. I've never heard of the Nancy Drew series. Is it like just a detective where you've got to figure stuff out kind of game? It's it's yeah. It's very it's a um, point and click adventure, and there's like thirty games that you can play. Oh, that's fun. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's really really. They're made for children, but they're like very difficult uh i play kids games all the time what are you talking yeah. about i don't care i like kids yeah. games <laughs> yeah uh i go back and play games like sly cooper which is technically mm. a children's game so yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um <clears throat> so would you say <clears throat> i'm sorry i'm still getting over the con crud from blizzcon <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I still have that cough, which is the last thing to go. Uh, so, would you say Overwatch is your main game then? Yeah, definitely. I um, I play it every day, pretty much. Oh, then you must be like a badass. I'm not that good. I mean, I think I'm good, but like I'm in bronze, so. Uh, my SR is like 900. It's not very good. But you still have fun. I have fun, yeah. That's all that matters. And I, I don't think I belong in bronze, but I don't know. Uh, I'm stuck in bronze as well. It's hell. I feel you. Um. So, what is it? A I. I can talk Overwatch all day long. I told you earlier before the podcast, uh, my first podcast was an Overwatch podcast. So yeah. um, I freaking love, I I do love that game. So what attracts you about that game specifically? Can you name anything? Um, I think I like the different 
play styles that every time you play, you can get a different experience. Oh, so, that is so true. I've never yeah. even thought about that, but yeah. Yeah, definitely. So I think that's why I like it. Um, and it's fast. It's like you can play one game or 10 games, depending on how much time you have. So I like it. It's very true. Um, I I love that there is a character for everybody. So yeah. Even if you're not good at one, there is one that you will be good at. And while they all have similar, you know, some of them have similar stuff, they're all kind of their own individual character with the way they play. Um, yeah. Which I um, think is super cool. Yeah. yeah. I am. Um, I keep putting my microphone on mute just because... If it's like so much background noise. It's not as loud as you think it is, I promise. Okay, because to me it sounds like super loud. It's 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 not as loud as like when I do a podcast with um I also am on a podcast with Zilla Noises boyfriend. Yeah. And sometimes for some reason she is super loud when we're doing it and I can hear like her entire conversation. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm totally calling you out, Zilla. But <laughs> um <laughs> uh no, it's really it's really not that bad. It's you just hear background, you know, you can't you okay. can't hear what they're saying, so it's okay. not bothering me. <laughs> okay. Good, good. So, are there any games that you are excited about that are coming out soon? I was trying to think about that. And I mean, I'm really interested in Stardew Valley multiplayer. Yeah. That I'm really, really looking forward to that. Because I was like obsessed with that game. And I did all the objectives. And then I kind of stopped playing it because I did everything. So right. now I hope, I hope this adds something to the game i am with you there because i i i love stardew valley and i've gone through and created new farms and stuff just to do it from a different experience but um it after a while it's like all right i've done all the objectives let's you know there really isn't while you can still go in and play it there yeah. really it, it kind of has an end game and I, i'm I'm also curious how the multiplayer is going to be different. And I hope it is different because it's a great game. They did a great job with that game. Right. I hope they add they add story to it. Oh, Another agreed. Story. Yes. Yeah. Because I liked that game. I never played um, Harvest Moon. Oh, I yeah, me neither. That. So this is the first time... I did something like that game. Yeah, same, same. Um, yeah. And there's another game that it it reminds me of. What's the other one they say it's like? I don't remember, but whatever. Um, is there is there a game that you would want to have a reboot or a remastering of? I was um talking to my boyfriend about this and I'm really interested in Catacomb Abyss and he was like what game is that? I'm like how do you not know Catacomb Abyss? <laughs> I don't know this game. <laughs> oh my gosh really? <laughs> it's like... look on your face right now is like really? <laughs> it's um back in the day like in the 90s, early 90s maybe. Um, imagine Wolfenstein, but you're a magician. Okay. So it's kind of like first person shooter RPG type game. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Very I'm going to have to look this up then. I'm going to have to look yeah. this up now. 
It's a very old game. It might even be from the 80s. I don't know. But like, I was obsessed with that game. That's pretty cool. Okay, I've never... Um... I've never heard of that... I'm sorry, my phone decided to tell me um, my fantasy... I'm losing my fantasy football game. Um, yeah. Shut up, phone. Uh, turn your stuff on vibrate, nymph. God! Turn it to <laughs> silent. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so this is the part of the podcast where we get a little bit serious. Who inspires you to be the woman you are today? Uh, my mom, I think, because she's very much like me. You think? I, I know. <laughs> she's very much like me, and uh, I should say I'm like her. Um, she's very strong. She had a hard life. Um, she's very into me and... Kind of like, you know, I like my mom. <laughs> oh, your mom sounds awesome. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. She doesn't get Twitch. She's like, she keeps calling it a podcast. I'm like, no, I'm, stre <laughs> I'm streaming a game. I'm not doing a podcast, except today. But... <laughs> Uh, my mom doesn't even get the concept of a podcast, so yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. like, um, I don't get it. How do you make money with this? I'm like, Mom, why does it matter? I enjoy it. And she's like, I don't get it. It's like, my mom thinks that in order for you to be successful, you have to be making tons and tons of money, whereas yeah. that's not how I think. Yeah. I look at it as... I'm doing a job that I enjoy. I'm kind of getting paid to do it. So I'm good. I'm yeah. happy. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, my mom, although she's slowly starting to come around. Um, I I bought t-shirts with uh, my stream logo on it and posted pictures yeah. on Facebook. And she said, hey, that's a cool shirt. What is that from? And I told her and she's like, I want one. That's cool. So that's like, that's like a big deal for me. My mom wants a logo shirt for my 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 channel. So, uh, <laughs> so that's uh you know progress, right? <laughs> um. So, uh, what what do you like about what do you enjoy about being a part of Girl Streamers? Um, I just like the community um i just like having a group of people who understand what it's like to be a girl and to stream because it's very it can be very intimidating oh yeah very scary to kind of put yourself out there and yeah so the support and the friendships and it's awesome i love it uh what keeps you so passionate about gaming and the community just in general um i think for me when i stream it's a uh, it kind of helps people understand me better it helps people understand disability and you know different ways to get people aware of disabled gamers that you know we need to have accessibility and gaming and diversity so that's why i stream i think and that's also, awesome it's, it's also it's fun so <laughs> why not <laughs> it, it serves a dual purpose there yeah um that i i love that um i love that about your channel and like just your brand with your name and everything not only are you you know this just really cool streamer chick but 
you're disabled and you don't try to hide it. You don't try to, you know, ignore it. You're, you accept it and you're like, Hey, look at me. This is me. This is who I am. I'm not alone in this. This is what other people do. And it's okay. Like we're just as cool as you are. We just happen to be, I don't know, in a wheelchair or just a little Mm -hmm. bit slower or, you know, look a little bit different from you. Um, I, I think that's, I, I, I just, I absolutely love that, which is, you know, one of the things that we do here in girl streamers is promote that, Mm -hmm. you know, it's like, Hey, we're here. We're just a little different, but we're just like you. Right. Yeah. And, um, it, at first it was really scary to stream because I wasn't sure what to expect, especially after I got the camera and the video. Yeah. I was like, okay, this is going to be interesting. And so far, it's not been bad. That's good. It's been good. Yeah. So I'm surprised. That's, I, I am, I am happy for you. Yes. Thank um, you. Um, because I, I have, um, my, I have a heart for the disabled community because I grew up with a father who, um, basically built customized wheelchairs for Mm -hmm. children. Um, and, uh, he did it for adults as well. He even built, uh, quite a few wheelchairs for, um, Paralympics for people in the Paralympics. Oh, that's cool. Um, so I was, you know, I was around that community growing up. Mm -hmm. And so I got to see what they go through and, you know, the shit that disabled people get. Um, and I even helped him build some of these wheelchairs. I thought it was really cool that that's what my dad Mm -hmm. did. So, yeah, that's awesome. Um, <clears throat> he he stopped doing that since, but um, mm-hmm. he still builds wheelchair ramps and handy and will make bathrooms and stuff handicap accessible. That's just it's just in his nature to be that person. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so I kind of have you know a special heart for the disabled community just because it was mm-hmm. so dominant in my life, even though I wasn't disabled or my family. Mm-hmm. Um, right. <clears throat> so because it taught me because you know there's always those kids growing up that you see something's different but you don't know what's different and yeah. some kids will make fun of them whereas my dad taught me that's not okay mm-hmm. uh, you want to find out what's going <clears throat> on or you uh, wanna, yeah. it's like if they're willing to talk about it talk t- to them about it otherwise treat them with respect so mm-hmm. Thank you yeah. for doing what you do because I think more people okay. need to know that. I think so too. Um, when I was growing up, I was the only visibly disabled person mm-hmm. in my in the grammar school and high school and college, even. Um, and I've never had to deal with bullying or anything. I never had, like, no one was mean to me, really. Um, So I feel very fortunate because a lot of disabled people deal with bullying. Yeah. So so I feel like (coughs) because I didn't, that I have, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just more open about my disability. Because, yeah. That's, and you know, maybe (laughs) that's why, that's probably why you're more open, because you have had a more positive experience, which then, which then just does nothing but benefit those that have had negative experiences, because you're still educating, uh, you're willing to educate people, which some people are just not. So yeah, I think that's super I, yeah. awesome. And I didn't get bullied until I got online, like on Twitter 
Twitter is like the worst for me as far as like trolls and stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I, I think Twitter, I mean, I, Facebook is awful. I, I don't, I have a better experience on Twitter than I do Facebook. And I think because it's <laughs> easier for me to just ignore 140 characters versus a page of text. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> It's just, I don't know, for some reason it's easier for me to just tap out on Twitter yeah. than it is on Facebook. I wish it was easy for me to tap out on all of it. It's, yeah. Because it's online, but <clears throat> um, that stuff gets really toxic. And that's it. Yeah. That's what we're um, trying yeah. to change. alleviate and change here at Girls Streamers. Right. And yeah. I've read your blog, which um, you are a fantastic writer. Oh, thank you. Um, so, what uh, are you still? I haven't seen anything lately. Are you still keeping up with the blog, or has it just showed uh, slowed down because of work? Or um, well, as far as me writing, I haven't written anything for it in a while. But I do hire guest bloggers. So I've hosted other articles, um, like the last, the last post was two weeks ago, Mm. so not bad, but like, I had basically three jobs. Good lord, woman! (laughs) I don't have a lot of time, as much as I want, to dedicate to the vlog, but it's a lot. Uh, three jobs? What the heck? Yeah. I work as a um, digital marketing for, uh, for a non-profit. That's my main job. Okay. I'm 9 to 5. And then I teach online. It's my other job. And my, my blog. And Twitch is Good. my... Lord, woman, that you do yeah. not stop, do you? I don't stop. <laughs> don't stop. No. <laughs> That's I awesome. To, and I just graduated and got my master's degree. Holy so cow. It was worse. I used to have way too much on my plate. Uh, so basically, you've dropped one job because you graduated. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. that's a full-time job in and of itself. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So, what is your greatest challenge or obstacle that you have had to overcome in your life? Um, other people. <laughs> <laughs> like, dealing with other people basically being disabled like my disability has bad things that come with it but the hardest part is dealing with other people how they react how they treat me and how they react to me so it's like that yeah and when I was 12, I think, I went uh, into the the hospital Mm -hmm. for four months, and that was, like, the worst. So, yeah. I can can understand that. Uh, Just people, yeah, because you, yeah, I could, I, I totally, I totally get that concept, just trying to get people to just treat you like a person right. <laughs> right. yeah um, like so many so many people don't even think of me as a person and that's like i have to deal with that pretty much every day so it gets very tiring but i do it just i have to um, my best friend before she passed away, um, she dealt with, she had Newman syndrome and, 
um, uh, some she had some heart conditions, uh, mm-hmm. and what eventually uh, just took her was a de- degenerative lung disease. And you could tell mm-hmm. she was, you could tell she was physically disabled, but she was able to walk and stuff like that. But it was just the dwarfism is what caused a lot of her health issues. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, that was one of the things that she struggled with was people just like not looking at her weird and yeah. not looking at her like something's wrong. Cause she also had scoliosis. So, mm-hmm. you know, she, um, you know, so it, I, I totally, that was one of her biggest, like when she would vent to me, it was, that was one of her biggest things was people making terrible short people jokes because she was short mm-hmm. and she's like, I, I, I can take a joke, a short people joke from you because I know that you're not doing it just because you're doing it just to, you know, be, it's just banter. And I didn't really do short people jokes anyway, that much to her. Yeah. Um, I did Jewish jokes cause she was Jewish. Um, Mm -hmm. I will never say a Jewish joke to any other Jew, but that's how close we were. Right, yeah. And it was never know, yeah. the really bad. It was never bad yeah. ones. It was like silly ones. But um, mm-hmm. she just got to the point where she just couldn't. She was just sick of it. She just. Mm-hmm. And yeah. So I totally understand. Mm-hmm. I, I totally understand that um, yeah. dealing with and, those people. Because watching yeah. her deal with those people, it's just like. Because you can't say anything as the friend. You're just like, I don't, like, I can say don't do that, but they're not going to listen to me. They're going to keep doing mm-hmm. what they want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you asked me the hardest thing I had to get over is I kind of got over that. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's like, all right, fine. Like, I'll just keep doing what I love to do and who cares what other people say about me. <laughs> I don't really care. Who cares? So I uh, did get over that. I, I like, think that's that's not a lot of people are able to get over that. So that's good. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's kind of like a survival. Yeah. Mode. Yeah. So. And, and honestly, streaming will give you that will help you do that too it'll help you get to that point of getting over it because you'll get those Mm -hmm. those trolls in and just be like all right yeah i'm done with you peace out yeah Yeah. (laughs) right so if you could give your past self one to two words of advice oh excuse me from the wisdom and experience you have gained up until now what would they be um don't stop, basically. <laughs> and and trust trust your gut because your gut is right. <laughs> just don't just believe in yourself, trust yourself and it's gonna be okay in the end. I think those are some great words of wisdom right there. Yeah. Uh, for all people, to be honest. Yeah. What? So what trait of yours are you most proud of? Um, I am a perfectionist. And I think that's kind of helped me with my writing and my jobs and how I view the world. I'm kind of just like very determined perfectionist. So that, that could also be a bad thing at times. Yeah. <laughs> then I, always, I always think like that I'm right. So <laughs> I don't know. It's like a strange thing to be proud of, but I don't know. 
but it allows you but because of that you have really good work with you put out yeah. really good work so yes i'd say yes. So, that's something to be proud of to yeah. be honest my uh my perfectionism has allowed me to make content that changes people's minds about disability so i guess that's yeah that's I'm going to move on to my next question. I mean, I don't know. I can't follow that up with anything. That's great. Um, so what is your greatest insecurity then? Um, that, uh, this is a weird question because I would say, <laughs> I would say, um, public speaking. I don't like to talk. So, I mean, I like, this conversation is good, but like so many other, I hate like meetings at work. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to like die. <laughs> Does anybody really like meetings though? No. I don't think so. I don't so. think so. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it gets me out of actually doing work, but then I'm doing more work. So no. Yeah. Nah. Like I had, I'm so scared. To even like make a phone call, I'll just dread it all day. I'm like, I don't like it. How do you stream? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I think streaming did help me get over some of that insecurity. Yeah. But um, I don't know. It's strange. I mean, Weird. it's not an uncommon insecurity at all. Several people yeah. are. Uh, I'm terrified all the time. That's what I. That's what I go off of. Is that's what yeah. I run off of. Is fucking public humiliation. But um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I sing in front of people, so that's even more nerve wracking. You sing. Yeah, so uh, that's even more nerve wracking for me. Yeah, because I'm sure. if I get the note wrong, everybody's gonna hear it. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> so yeah, public speaking. I honestly don't like public like actually getting up on us. I don't mind stuff like this. I don't mind like networking like in a crowd, but getting mm -hmm. up on a stage. Yeah, and speaking. To me, that is completely different from something like this or yeah. even streaming because, I mean, you're not really on a stage, but on a stage, right. it's like everybody can see your insecurities. Uh, yeah. I'm making myself nervous thinking about that now. So, and like, <laughs> I think, uh, I think with streaming, you're in control. Yeah, exactly. So it's different. It's like I'm just talking to people online and I'm not, I'm in command of the conversation. So it, that's it feels, very true. It feels safer, easier. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> um, so have you, have you actually been trolled at all on your stream or has it been pretty, um, pretty positive? I had like one guy try to like hit on me, but like <laughs> that happens. Uh, but no, welcome not really. to girl streamers. Yeah. <laughs> but, but not really. I mean, most of my trolls come from Twitter. So yeah, when uh, people get behind those uh, computers, you know that whole anonymous thing, they don't. They forget mm -hmm. that they're actually feelings and human beings behind yeah. monitors. Yeah. So it's I've really had, easy uh, to type negative stuff. Yeah. I've had people make fake accounts with my picture and then, like, they send it to me. And I'm like, okay, that's a lot of effort, but okay. But why? Let's say, like, they made an account, like, ugly 
girl gamer and then use my picture and I'm like oh. you, you just wasted so much time because A, I don't care and B, you're no longer on Twitter because I sent your ass to the Twitter police. So <laughs> the Twitter police. <laughs> Twitter police. Oh my god, like like, what the hell that? is wrong with people? Why would you make the time to do that? It's the same people, though, that take the time to make multiple accounts on Twitch and come in and say the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah. I It's stupid. I don't understand people that do that. That's so stupid. I know. Oh, my God. Get yeah. alive, people. Get alive. Yeah. Get alive. <laughs> <laughs> so what advice do you have for new people getting into streaming? Um, don't don't expect to have success right away. And don't expect to have success a year from now. <laughs> Just <laughs> don't expect success, period. Just do it because it's fun. And because you like it, and be patient, and that's it. Just have fun. Some good advice. Do it, do it for the right reasons. But if you make money, and if you have a lot of followers, that's just a bonus. I would agree. I've made yeah. some great friendships because of streaming, yes. honestly. Definitely. Um, and I've got to meet a lot of girl streamers. I've got to meet almost all of my moderators in my particular channel, which has been it's oh, just absolutely awesome. crazy and exciting. Um, awesome. So I, I'm totally with you there. I have I have made some very good friendships because of streaming. Mm -hmm. and that's yeah. honestly what keeps me going. Yeah. And, like, I feel like if people... A lot of people start something and they realize it's not going to be a hit right away. So they just give up and then don't go back to it. But just stick, stick with it and it'll happen eventually. So I agree. So my next question. I'm excited to ask you about because you sent me pictures to show. Oh, yeah. Um, so, do you have any cool tattoos, scars, or piercings? I have uh, one star, a very long star down my whole back because I had scoliosis surgery on my back when I was seven. Um, I have a star on my leg. From when they did a surgery when I was a kid. And I had three tattoos. And I sent you a picture of two of them. Yes. Um, they're both on my right arm. And they are uh, Mariah Carey lyric quotes. I thought they were Mariah Carey. Yeah. I'm really, really a very big fan. Um, that one is under my arm. Uh, it's uh, not that great. <laughs> for those of you who are not watching, um, it's a tattoo. The first one is a butterfly tattoo. That's and along it says "Spread your wings and fly." Yeah. And the next one is another butterfly, and underneath it says, look inside you and be strong. Yes. And that tattoo is a lot better than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> They're both um, so pretty. I love them. Yeah. That's my favorite. That's on the other side of the same arm. Nice. Uh, and I have one on my foot that I didn't share because it's not that good, and it is the Star Trek um, symbol. <laughs> so. um, that's okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> I did a really bad mistake, and I got that Star Trek tattoo at the last minute. I was just like, I want to get a tattoo. Let's go get a tattoo. And it was awful. I hate it. <laughs> and then, and then the next year, I'm like, I want another tattoo. So I go to the salon or whatever tattoo place. And the guy who did the tattoo on my foot did the tattoo on my arm. And I was like, this is going to be the worst tattoo ever. And it's not that great, but it's better than the Star Trek tattoo. Did the same guy do the other tattoo that you really no. love? Oh, no. see, there you go. Different person. <laughs> I, think, I think you can tell. <laughs> Uh, that's always the worst when you go to a tattoo parlor and you're like, you, you, you're risking cause you don't know if yeah. they're going to be any good half the time. Yeah. Um, you're just going off of, oh yeah, yeah, this is a great place. Um, so mm -hmm. I love my tattoo artist. I go, yeah. I, I will be going to him again for nice. more tattoos cause I love tattoos. So yeah, I love tattoos. Um, you're not they're like very, they don't hurt me at all. So it's like. I don't <laughs> find them, I don't think they're very painful either. Everyone was like, oh my God, you're going to be crying. It's going to hurt so much. And I'm like, that was nothing. It was so not painful at all. But. <laughs> My oh, no. biggest piece took like an hour and a half to do. And I mean, it, it's like my entire shoulder back here. It's a pretty big mm -hmm. piece. And my tattoo artist kept stopping. He's like, do you, do you need to, do you need to take a break? Do you need, I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Keep going, keep going. So I got up once to like go pee or something. Yeah. Um, and when we got done, he's like, you're my best client. Yeah. I got that too. <laughs> You're like, you didn't even flinch. I'm like, why would I? It doesn't hurt. <laughs> do you plan on getting any more tattoos? I do, but I don't know what exactly to get. <laughs> you need to get the Overwatch logo somewhere. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but Overwatch, come on. No, I don't know. I don't oh. like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not that dedicated yet. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so if there was one person, past or present, you could have dinner with tonight, who would it be and why? Can be a famous person, can be family. Um, my boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> um, but if for any reason he couldn't make it, I would want it to be Mariah Carey because I am obsessed. <laughs> Clearly, the tattoos. Clearly. I mean, yeah. obviously, you're dedicated to Mar Mariah, but not dedicated to Overwatch. Not, I'm not, not, no. Like, I mean... my Mariah Carey <laughs> dedication is a bit extreme, <laughs> it's, it's a lot to handle, but. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, what do you think of her new Christmas song? The Star? I think that's it, yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's good. She's changing the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I, I heard, like, part of it, and I was like, alright, that's a pretty decent Christmas song. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not... Um, no. It's not as good as, like, her other Christmas yeah. song, which yeah. I can't, the name of it escapes me right now. Oh, I want for Christmas? There you go. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's yeah. like one of the best Christmas songs ever. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. I have, um, she does Christmas concerts in New York during the holidays, and I always go, and I sit nice. front row center, 
and it's like, like every year she's there for like five days, so I'll go to see like two shows, and I'll sit in front. Uh, and then, I'm gonna come with you this year. Okay, yeah, and uh, <laughs> it's like a whole paycheck, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you don't understand my dedication. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Yeah. I've never seen her in concert. She's one person that I would actually enjoy seeing because I like Mariah Carey as well. Mm -hmm. Not quite as much as you do, obviously. I saw her, uh, like, nine times in concert. Damn. Yeah, I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that shit's expensive, too. That's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I had, uh, that's why I had a job. So I can fund my Mariah Carey trips. <laughs> that's it. Nothing else. It's yeah, just, all the money else. goes to Mariah Carey. Yep. <laughs> uh, so what would it, what's an ideal weekend for you? Is it spending the weekend with my Mariah Carey? Mariah Carey and my boyfriend and <laughs> video games and that's it, really. <laughs> uh, all right, I have two more questions for you and then we will open up for Q&A for the audience. Okay. So audience, right. get your questions ready. All right, my next question is, what are you most thankful for? I am most thankful for my family and my friends, and my boyfriend. And I know that's a really boring answer, but that's the truth, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's the truth, that's what I asked for. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your strongest passion outside of streaming? Uh, I think you know that already. <laughs> uh, Mariah Carey. Yeah, and uh, I also... <laughs> I like to read. I read a lot. I have like my Kindle to read stuff, and that's it, really. I love Kindles. Oh. I yes, love Kindles. Yay! Oh man, that's awesome. Um, well, that's why you're such a good writer because you read so much. Yeah. Um. So, Carice asks, if you were a book, what would it be? Oh gosh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know. Something by Dr. Seuss, I don't know. Some kind of strange creature, I don't know. I have no idea. That's a good, good, good question. Who's I your favorite know. author? Oh, jeez. Uh, I like Julia Alvarez. Oh, okay. I know who that is. Um, I like uh, stuff. I can't think right now. Um, I like fantasy, sci-fi, um, like uh, history. I don't really have like favorite authors. I kind of jump all over the place. So. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Um, Unitron asks, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Um, just Christmas movies? Uh, A Christmas Story, I guess. That's the only one I know of. Uh, you also have It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, that too, yeah. No, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not a fan. Really? No. Uh, speaking yeah. of Dr. Seuss, you have How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Oh, uh, that's true. I guess that one, yeah. That's um, a good one. I mean, A Christmas Story is totally a classic. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. So, you know. Although, I could never answer that question when it comes to movies because I'm a movie person. So, all of them? Yeah. Um. <laughs> um so... How long have you been writing your blog? No, I'm waiting for people to ask questions, so I'm just coming up with questions. Um, 
I started in 2012. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's like six years. Yeah. Go Yeah, yeah. going on six years. That's... Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Yeah. That's amazing. I started, I started with like 2,000 um, views, and now I get like 24,000 people. That's awesome. Yeah. So it really... It drew a lot, so I'm proud of it. I like it. You should be proud of it. That's awesome. One thing mm -hmm. I really liked about your uh, your blog um, is you have a, a section for podcast, and you uh, promote uh, disabled podcasters and podcasts about being disabled or disabled gamers, mm -hmm. um, which I thought that was really, really cool. Uh, cause yeah. I like, I mean, I don't, I don't go look for those things, but I went and I was like, oh, this is awesome. Let me, let me check some of these out. Um, so there is yeah. a, so now I have a list to listen to from your blog. Awesome. Um, yeah, I try and put together stuff like that just like as a, a resource for people who don't know what's out there. It's a great resource. I love it. Yeah. Um, Carice asks, if you could go anywhere in the world right now, cost is no issue, where would you go? Um, Other than Mariah Carey's house. <laughs> um, uh, Italy? No, not Italy. China. Hong Kong. Yeah. I want to visit China someday. Yeah. My, um... My mom is part Chinese. Oh. Like, she's a one-eighth Chinese. That's cool. And my, my grandmother was a quarter Chinese. So I want to go there to learn more about family history. That's cool. Yeah. That's really neat. I've, I, I just love the culture and, yeah. like, the architecture and stuff, especially between... Mm -hmm. Um, China and Japan. I mean, there's similarities, but there's so many differences as well. Yeah, and they're just both so beautiful in their own way. My um, um my mom was is from Cuba, and in Cuba, there's a lot of Chinese mixed in, so it's a very common um ancestry. So. That's very interesting to me. So in China, I want to go to China just to research family. I did history. not know that about Cuba. Yeah. That's cool. But, yeah. So you are just this mishmash uh, yeah. of different uh, heritage then. Yeah. That's my mom. Yeah, my mom was born in Cuba and she came to the U.S. as a refugee in the 60s. Wow. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of interest in family history and discovering where my family came from. I would too. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Um, come on, guys. Ask me questions. I know you got them. <laughs> I know you got him. So Paragon Trouble, the ultimate lurker, who is not here, which makes me sad, because new job uh -huh. uh, prevents her, I think, from being here regularly. But I'll ask her a question, because <coughs> it's always a tried and true, never fails good question. Um, so if you could pick a video game, if uh, well, it doesn't have to be a gaming world. If you could pick a, a book world, gaming world movie, TV, any world to live in, what world would it be? Where would you live and what would you do? Oh my god, it's a lot of it's a lot of questions. I know. Um, <laughs> I don't know like time, I don't I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like if I drove back in time, that's not good for me because 
I would probably not be alive. So that's fair. Um, and then like in the future, I guess sometime Star Trek. I would be in Star Trek universe. Duh. Why didn't I think about that? Yeah. There you go. Yes. There you go. So I where would be, you live? I want to be uh, wherever Spock is. <laughs> Are you a Spock fan? I am. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, like, it goes like Mariah Carey, Spock. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. All right. Are you a Spock fan or a Leonard Nimoy fan? Uh, both. Okay, I'm with you yeah. there. I'm yes. totally with you on that. He was amazing. He was just, like, fantastic. I was late to the Star Trek stuff. Like, I watched the movies first. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like, slowly, every so often, I'll watch a few episodes of the old stuff. Because, I mean, that's a lot to go through. And I'm yeah. just not willing to binge all that. It's my same thing with like Doctor Who. I'm I'm watching mm -hmm. the old Doctor Who stuff, but I just I'm not gonna sit there and binge it for days and days and days. I just I can't handle that. Um yeah. but uh the show was great. Yeah. It was fantastic. I don't know what the hell I was missing. I didn't start watching Star Trek until it got on Netflix. And then I started with the original series. Yeah. And then I got, like, obsessed with Spock. And that was it. And now I'm here with my crappy Star Trek tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> that should yeah. be your next tattoo, getting that covered up with the better yeah. Star Trek tattoo. I think so, yeah. If you should see my room... I had um, Star Trek all over my walls, and I have a life-size Spock uh, sticker. Nice. On my wall. Yeah. Nice. I um, I grew up loving Star Wars, so you know it was a sin to like Star Trek when I was growing yeah. up. If you liked Star Wars, um, so. Yeah, then I married a Star Wars fan, and there's Star Wars stuff everywhere. I all see over the my house. You. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and so, yeah, I just started getting into Star Trek, you know, a few years ago. And I mm -hmm. like you, I, I've been watching it on Netflix, but I haven't, I just, I can't binge it. I cannot <laughs> binge it. I can watch maybe four episodes at a time. I would recommend, um, don't bother watching all of The Next Generation, because it's bad. For, like, the first four seasons, it's just shit. So, um, <laughs> I would recommend Deep Space Nine is probably the best trek that isn't the original series. Okay, all right. And the new Star Trek, Star Trek Discovery, is very good. I, I like it. I've heard it's good. Um, it just it's came out good. what this year, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, that's awesome. That's good. I'm. I. That's amazing. I'm glad that. Um, cause they. Uh, what was the. What was the one before this one that came out that did it? I don't think it did very well. Enterprise. Yeah. That was shit. Yeah, that was bad. So, <laughs> tell us how you really feel. <laughs> yeah, it was shit. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> somebody said, uh, somebody in chat, you, Unitron said, oh no, Discovery is the worst one. <laughs> no, Enterprise <laughs> is the worst one. And Voyager. Voyager is bad. Um... <laughs> oh my god the trekkie fans in chat is great yeah. um all right well it's been about 10 minutes and nobody has any more questions i guess they just enjoyed us talking about star trek 
Yeah. Uh, so let me tell us where we, where and when can we find you streaming and everywhere else we can find you on the internet. Uh, you can find me as Geeky Jim, like everywhere, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, my channel on Twitch. Um, I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 9 p.m. Eastern to 10.30. And then, I, and then I stream other random times. That's awesome. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you again so much for joining me. Uh, thank this, you. This has been a blast chatting with you. Same. Um, and I told you I'd get you. I told you I'd get you to talk for an hour. You did. It's been over an it. hour. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you again so much for joining. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Um, this is this has been a Girl Streamers podcast. Thank you guys so much for listening. Girl Streamers is partnered with Loot Crate, Fresh Designs, Punks Paracord, Simple Jerky, You and Racing Chairs. Glom Tom and Sennheiser. These are all amazing people. Go check them out. Link to all our partners are down below, so please feel free to click. Please follow us at Girl Streamers on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and Instagram. If you have any questions or would like more information, you can visit our website at girlstreamers.com and contact us through there. You can subscribe to us on Twitch or GameWisp. Don't forget, when you do, you get access to our Discord channel at the $4.99 tier. You can also buy some super cool gear in our online shop at designbyhumans.com forward slash shop forward slash girl streamers. You can find Geeky Gimp on Twitter at Geeky Gimp, that's G-E-E-K-Y-G-I-M-P, and Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Geeky Gimp, G E E K Y G I M P. Our next podcast will be December 3rd with the amazing City Skyline streamer Easily right here, same time. This podcast is a part of the Two Lazy Dogs Media Group and the Girl Streamers community. Encourage, support, grow.